Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splattered Vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. And I'm Count Jackula. And today we're going to talk about Night's End, which is another Shudder original movie, mm -hmm. um, about a guy who thinks his house is haunted and he seeks help from various, like, supernatural online experts or yep. online supernatural experts. Um, and then things get fucked up. <laughs> And uh, it's a very simple movie, so that's kind of the movie. That's, that's yeah, yeah. It, it 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 starts. It begins. It has a very serious tone. You have a guy mm -hmm. with an obvious like anxiety disorder. Of oh yeah, a he's man like who's obviously like some some shit has happened to him. He he's he's become a complete shut in, and he yeah. doesn't leave his apartment. In fact, he's moved out of the big city to like the boonies, and lives in this small apartment by himself, um, and doesn't leave ever. Yeah. Um, um, and obviously he's had some shit happen to him. Like he got fired from a job and he recently got divorced um, and he's got kids, but he doesn't even see the kids. He can't even bring himself to do that. Yeah. And and he's basically started spending his time doing taxidermy and making YouTube videos. But yeah. Like they're like vague YouTube videos about like random shit that he knows. There's no like through line in them. Yeah, he's not like a movie reviewer or no. a lifestyle vlogger or something that you could identify. He's casting about trying to figure out what he's going to make this YouTube channel yeah. about. And you're just sort of like, dude, if you had no idea what you were going to make a YouTube channel, why are you making a YouTube yeah, channel? Yeah, he's like doing it for the sake of doing it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like he's shotgunning on his YouTube channel and trying to see what sticks as opposed to being someone who's like, I want to do this thing on YouTube. Yeah. And just happens to hit big with it. He's trying to get big, but he has no like actual like drive, creative drive. Yeah, he has no creative drive and he doesn't really have a hook either. No, and he's trying to figure that out. So like, it'll be one video, which is like, here's my gardening tips. Uh, and then the next one. Yeah, and you're like, this guy doesn't look like he gardens at all. Yeah. It turns out he has like an indoor greenhouse. Exactly. But like, you know, you're like, I don't know. That's what people were thinking about when they thought about. Gardening. And then, like the next second, he's recording another video about like divorce dad tips. Yeah. Um. And the thing is, is that he's the worst person to give divorce dad tips because, like, he doesn't even see his kids, and he moved he's, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's <laughs> he's practically hit rock bottom. Yeah. Here. You know, so he, he has not lifted himself back up. So he is not the person to be even giving those kinds of tips. But you know, he's trying anyway. Um. And he basically discovers like very quickly that there's something weird going on in some of his videos. Like things are falling off the shelves yeah, while he's no, recording yeah, shit. Yeah, for no clear reason. And he kind of figures out that his his apartment might be haunted and that there was a lady there like years ago that killed some people and then killed herself. And then, yeah, you know, and so now there's a haunting happening in his apartment and he's trying to figure out how to get rid of the haunting. And so he turns to a supernatural expert online. This leads to a live broadcast of like the attempted yeah. exorcism of yeah, his yeah. apartment. Yeah, the live stream of the exorcism of his apartment. And I just described to you the movie and the climax. That's, that's, yeah. that's it's very simple. Yeah, real simple film. <laughs> very simple film. With that, there are a lot of things that can be spoiled. Yes, so we're not gonna talk about what happens in the last like 20 minutes of the movie for, for now, because that's that's when all the turns happen. Yeah, that's when all and the uh, you're not gonna see it coming. No, no. I, I thought I was figuring out where the movie was going. Yeah, and I, I was thought wrong. I knew where the movie was going. I was wrong. <laughs> and I, 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 little bit, by the time it was clear where we were going, I was sitting there going, are we going to do this? Yeah, yeah. Are we going to do this? Oh my God. All right. Hell yeah. Like Th This movie has like very similar filmed under pandemic condition vibes as the host did. That, oh yeah. That, that, uh that entirely zoomed. Yeah. This yeah. movie isn't entirely zoomed, but it's very much filmed in one apartment and then everything else is zoomed in. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. could very easily be uh, a movie that where the pandemic itself is a thing. Yeah. You know, and this is just one, as one aspect of it. Um, one of the, well, I'll give you the one surprise because it's not really a spoiler. It's just a surprise. Yeah. Michael Shannon is in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. He makes a surprise cameo as like his ex-wife's boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Her, like her like new boyfriend or mm -hmm. husband. You know, it's unclear which, but like clearly. <clears throat> some Probably sort of husband given. Yeah. The, given how how uh, how comfortable they seem to be in living together as they were. Yeah. Probably husband. Um, but yeah. And what I really love about it is that. Like, as much as it's shitty for our main character that his ex-wife divorced him and married this other guy, 
the other guy is kind of nice. Yeah. Like, like Michael yeah. Shannon, he's a, he's a little bit dumb, but he's like, he, he's overall well, like... You, he, he reminds me, it's, it, this is the Michael Shannon, this is the same type of character he played in that movie where he's mistaken for Sasquatch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just a very chill, nice dude. He's, but he's even more vocal in this one. Like he's he's kind of more extroverted than yeah, he yeah, was yeah, in that yeah. One. Like he's really friendly. Yeah. You're like you're like he might be giving the other guy a little bit of a hard time, but like. But he's doing in that kind of like playful, friendly ribbing that you do to your best friend. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And you get well, you get the feeling that like there's a little bit like, look, you're 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 my you're the wife's ex. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't so be doing that. I, yeah. you know, so I'm probably dunking on you. I'm dunking on you yeah. a little bit. That's that's well, we could, there's that feeling of like he's too dumb to recognize that he shouldn't be talking to him that way because there is that kind of barrier. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't realize the barriers there. Like he does. It's like he doesn't. Just yeah, unlike the guy's like actual best friend, yeah, who's really constantly trying to make sure <clears throat> that like the dude's just okay. Oh yeah, you know, and he does like he's a, he's a very good friend actually. Oh yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things he does that he the main character gets mad at him for, but those are like actually the right moves as a good. Friend. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, you're concerned about him and you want to do these things, and even though he does that 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 thing that like paranoid people do. Where it's like, oh, you guys are conspiring against me. It's like, no, your friends were concerned about you, so they talked to each other, yeah, and tried to touch base and like and compare notes to see like, yeah, we yeah, do is, about this our is, is this as bad as I'm afraid it is? Exactly, you know, or you is know. this like, no, 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 don't worry about it. <clears throat> you know, and that stuff is played really well, and it's played really straight. Yeah, um, there's some humorous interactions here and there, especially like every time it's like showing him like trying to record his YouTube stuff and it's like kind of funny. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're watching a man like struggle and he's he's doing not everything wrong, but like you could see why it's going nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. He, he, well, again, he's someone who's just trying to make YouTube content for the sake of making YouTube content and has no actual desire to create something. Yeah. And it's obvious. Um, and so he, he doesn't start getting any traction until he starts making ghost videos of his haunted apartment. Yeah. Yeah, he makes he puts <clears throat> up a video of the fir of like the first couple of incidents mm -hmm. and that's when things like kind of start to take off a bit. Yeah. And he that this is how like the other online occultists find him he gets on oh, yeah. this live stream. You know, but eventually it starts becoming too much because now his home is being invaded and he's such a paranoid shut-in who's got like Yeah, now everyone's looking into his yeah. house and yeah. Yeah. And, and this thing starts affecting his dreams and he starts having these creepy ass fucking dreams. And I want to say this. I th honestly think for like the first like two thirds of the movie, all the creepy ghost stuff is really good and effective. Though I do think when the movie takes the turn in the third act, even though I love it from a writing standpoint. Yeah. The effects are really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Nothing in the last third worked for me for that reason. Well, nothing in the last third, like, looks <laughs> it, like it. You feel like it should. Well, it look it yeah. looks like 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 if someone were faking it for YouTube, but I don't think that's a, that was what their, their attention was. Well, yeah, it, it, it feels like all of a sudden we just started using After Effects. Yes, you know? yes, um, and, and 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 it's unfortunate because up until that point, I thought the movie was great, and then I have to like dock it down a point once it reaches that point because it yeah. Like, which, which probably means we should probably start talking about spoilers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. I do. I do want to say this though. I do think, from a writing standpoint, everything that happens in this movie makes perfect sense and is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the writing for this movie, and I also love a lot of the performances. Even though, like, some of the characters are obviously played by amateur actors, the ones not played by Michael Shannon. Yeah, but yeah. they all do a good job with it. Yeah, yeah. They 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 do what they need to. The YouTube streamer yeah. seems like a YouTube streamer. Yep. The fucking like annoyed zoomer acts like an annoyed zoomer. Yep. You know, like all that shit. It just works. Absolutely. And and the humor and the creepiness in the beginning, it all mwah, great. Um, my only complaint is the effects in the last third kind of brings the movie down for me. And that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. The main thing that you're I, I can warn you about is that if you see the trailer, that's not how the movie ends up. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> you know, if you're like, oh, this looks like one kind of movie, hang in there. <laughs> hang in there, hang my in friends. There. It changes. All right, my friends. So, uh, Night's End, uh, I, I recommend it. It does, it is filled with taxidermied animal, animals, but you don't 
see anyone actually kill an animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if just the sight of like dead animals, yeah. because there's taxidermy involved. Because he he taxidermies. Because he's a taxidermist. Yeah. Um, he, oh God, I almost forgot that detail. Oh yeah, he's a taxidermist. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that that didn't play more into like the spooky ghost stuff later. Yeah, I know. You know, right? like you expect like yeah. an Evil Dead moment where like maybe like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah or something. Yeah. Never happens. But that's it's okay. Where the movie goes does work. It's just I I wish the effects were better. And with that said. Let us move on to the spoilers. In the last like 10 minutes, this thing starts turning into a black comedy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, which I was not expecting. Well, it was really funny up until that point, but then it then it just goes completely ghoulish at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just <laughs> it just goes like, you know, it kind of does do like the Evil Dead 2. Yeah. You're like, yeah. what the Fuck it's and it goes really buck wild. Like the last like third of this movie, when it when it's revealed that the weird occultist guy that in, that contacted him and was helping him try to remove the spirit, like he's actually summoning a demon. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like there's that point where he's like, "All right, I have mailed you a you know, ma the magic item that's gonna do this thing." Yeah. Now there's another envelope, but I want you to open it. You see what's inside. It's my severed thumb. <laughs> and it, like he holds up his bloody hand. It's one like, of the best moments the of the movie. Fuck? That that moment was definitely <laughs> highlight of the movie right there. My severed thumb. Oh my God. Yeah, and it turns out he's like a black sorcerer. Yep. They summon a demon <laughs> that basically brings on the end of the world. Yep, yep. And then in the last like, and and that's after that point is when the movie started to really like like become lesser for me because after that point it becomes Lawnmower Man all of a sudden <laughs> and, the, and the effects are just so terrible. Oh yeah 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 like it's it's it starts looking like After Effects. Oh yeah, which it probably well, was. it doesn't just look like After Effects. It looks like really bad After Effects that wasn't trying. Yeah yeah <laughs> like, yeah like 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 ye, like really bad like like we're we're not we know we're not good YouTube levels and yeah. <laughs> and, and it's really unfortunate because up until that point, the movie was really working for me. You know, well, it was going for like a really like really immersive kind of oh, yeah. like experience, and then all of a sudden, like I just throw that out at the end. <laughs> like, ah, fuck it. Like, look, guys, summoned a demon. Kiss my ass. We're out of money. Fuck you. Yeah, it did have that feeling. <laughs> like we just kind of ran out of budget here. Like, like the moment where the guy starts going on fire, and I'm like, that looks so bad. So bad. Yeah. You know, it's just like all of a sudden the movie went from legit good to so bad it's good. good? It's weird. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. Uh, like it's it's. I've never seen a movie actually successfully do that. Yeah, you know, go from like wow, this is like legit good to In like. In spite of all that, I did like the movie. But, yeah, but, but it is it is it is weird. Like there, there's like a weird bad taste in my mouth with those effects. Like it's, well, yeah, when the guy's like <laughs> eyes light up and he's on fire, you just or like, even yeah, like at I'm the end like, when like he walks outside and like all the houses are lighting up because the demon's appearing to everyone yeah. inside their homes, and it's it's like. It's like someone took like a stock photo off of the internet and then just started putting lights in the window with After Effects and it looks really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, is he in like Lawnmower Man or something? Because that's what this looks like. Yeah, they probably like <laughs> fucking filmed him for like five minutes on a back lot yeah. and just put like a static picture back there. And to be fair to the movie, it was obviously filmed under pandemic conditions and that's why it's such a small contained movie as what it is. But it did mean that like, I, 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 I don't know. On one hand, I like where the movie goes plot wise, but on the other hand, I would have preferred this movie without those effects. Well, you would <laughs> like if the effects had actually yeah. been like for real. Yeah. Like for lack of a better way of putting it. Yeah, I, I, could, I could see that. Like, I, I love the plot. Yeah, the plot's great. I love the plot. It, From it, a writing standpoint, like that turn, that my thumb moment. Yeah. It, like, <laughs> So good, and the fact that it was all about summoning this weird fire demon was really awesome. Yeah, and it was, and, and all the actors are great. Oh you know? God, yeah, Espe especially that occultist guy. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part is that you might look at that occultist guy and go like, "That guy is overacting like crazy." I'm like, "No, have you ever met these people? They're like that. Yeah, they're legit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this guy is because really of Jack. I've met so many fucking jackasses that <laughs> act like that. I can't stand any of them. I don't know how Jack is friends with them." <laughs> I can't stand them. I hate them. <laughs> uh, you get, uh, you get. And, it's, it's an acquired taste. And, and yeah. this, and that guy nailed it. He just nailed the way those guys act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like this guy acts like fucking 
well, to be honest, like when they're acting like that guy does, I don't tend to like him either. Like, That's they're, true. They're acting like like <laughs> morgue or like how to be a living god guy and all that shit. You know, well, and, there's like this fucking pretension that I just can't stand from them. And, yeah, and this guy nailed that. Oh yeah, yeah, but he 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 was able to do it while still being really entertaining to watch. Oh yeah, he was entertaining to watch. Yeah, <laughs> like again that moment, like it's my thought, my severed thumb, highlight of the movie right there. Yeah. <laughs> that scene alone, the, this is my thumb, ten out of ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, worth it. This is not the the thing that is really nice is that that w once again, th there's not a lot to get in the way of this movie. No, no, this no. movie is very simple. Very, very simple. Like these are these are this is a beautiful, like simple little idea, which is you take something that looks like it's going to be like you're watching Get Out, mm. and then it just turns into Evil Dead Two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you know, and it's oh man, sometimes sometimes is what you need because while I like the uh, the headier stuff, sometimes you you, you, you just need just a ghoulish thing. Need something ghoulish. Yeah, I love that ghoulish turn. I. I Again, it's not the turn that's the problem. It, it's 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 the execution. <laughs> yeah, the, the literal effects. The literal what, effects. What and that, yeah, that's you. again. The, yeah, because this. Oh man. Yeah, it's the effects. It's the effects. It's nothing else. <laughs> yeah, the acting's great. The writing's great. Even some of the choices that the, what they're showing is great. If it looked better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it, it didn't ruin it for me, but it definitely did feel like the movie dropped in production quality exactly and that <laughs> that that was a huge issue for me <laughs> like well yeah especially compared to like the stuff in the beginning where it's like where they're doing every, where everything's super subtle oh yeah yeah it's you know? very subtle it's really great even the like the even the obvious digital effect of the of the women the, the woman ghost showing up in like the curtains because he has all these like plastic curtains everywhere throughout his apartment yeah like 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 he's like in a hazmat fucking zone or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I um, mean, he's got these like plastic curtains, and the ghost will sometimes appear in it. And it was obviously done in After Effects or something like that. But those effects, like they felt like they were try, they were actually like to put effort in those effects. Yeah, yeah. That's where <laughs> that's where everything looked right. Exactly. You know, because you're like, okay, like this, it's low budget. It's it's good on the low budget movie scale. Mm -hmm. You know, like how in um, like for example, like. In Lamb, the Lamb baby was not 100% convincing. Yeah, yeah. You know, but the fact that it it existed was oh, kind yeah. of the point. Oh yeah, and even like the Lamb effect compared to this is like like god tier. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> like compared to like that, not not the rest of this movie, but the the, the end of this the movie. very end of the movie. <laughs> yeah, where like I, you just have to see it. Like, I, there's a part of me that like wonders whether that was a budgetary constraint or a deliberate choice maybe or whether they leaned into a budgetary constraint which it could yeah that makes sense too yeah. i don't know i don't know yeah they were like well we can't do the thing at the end like we wanted to what are we doing like look part of the theme of this thing is youtube videos this is shitty after effects which may have been the point yeah like, that that, 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 that might have been, been what the they're point. going for yeah that may have been what they were going for and to that extent i i i, I go I, I don't think that would have worked either for me yeah, <laughs> honestly, because at that point it was like, oh, so they're faking the whole thing at the end. That's what the movie now means. Because yeah. if it's supposed to just look like a YouTube effect, then that means the whole movie, movie was a is, fake YouTube. It was a fake YouTube, but it's clearly not. Yeah, it's like we get a lot of third person yeah. shots. Yeah, know? yeah, and, and and that that would that would probably have like if that's the intention, then that kind of breaks the movie a little bit for me. Yeah, you know, if it's just that we didn't have the budget, I can I can roll back. Yeah, I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. You know, I, I I don't know like which it was, but like the thing is, is I found myself going like, I'd be pretty proud if I made this movie, <laughs> you know? I can see that. I can see that. I probably would have rewritten it to make the effects different at the end. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. You <laughs> would have wanted, you wanted, would have wanted like a little bit more like visual polish. Yeah, yeah, that that would that would bug the shit out of me if I had the whole movie be one way and then at the very end it looks that bad. Yeah. <laughs> Like all of a sudden yeah. it's like Spawn to, to, to 1997. Ooh, ooh, like ow, I felt that. You know, oh. <laughs> like like that would bug. Yeah, the you're shit not out wrong. Of me. <laughs> you're not wrong. Uh, but at least it wasn't trying to be Spawn from the get go. No, you know? no, no. But it, that being said, I will totally see anything the people that made this make next, because I'd be interested to see 
what they do as as they make more movies and as people give them more opportunities because yeah i i think that from a writing standpoint from an acting standpoint like all that stuff works really fucking well and even the creepy stuff the way it was executed at the beginning was legitimately creepy oh yeah you know yeah yeah like you you, you actually are legitimately scared for this guy absolutely you know I can't fault you for being an indie filmmaker and not having like ILM effects, you know? Like, oh yeah, yeah. You know? So they get, gets a recommendation from me, but with a warning about the uh, the last third. And where can they find you, Count Jackula? Well, you can find me on Twitter at Counting Jack, where I uh, flood the internet with uh, my random thoughts, uh, many of which are dirty and filthy. <laughs> but I also also uh, will post whenever I stream on my YouTube channel. And uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, where sometimes I post. Le- I don't post as much there as, as I used to. That's true. On That's true. Well, it's kind of an ebb and flow. Like you go through periods of time where you're posting on there a lot. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to catch the next wave of me on Instagram, you want to follow me at Satanic Jacula. Mm-hmm. And uh, what about you? Y'all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema, and I'll be there. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of our videos when they go live. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And if you made it this far into the video, then I want you to comment below and be sure to comment below with hashtag my thumb. <laughs> comment with hashtag my thumb. That way I know, that way Jack knows, that way the whole world knows you watch this vlog all the way through. And with that said, my fellow gorehounds, peace out. And I'll catch y'all later. <laughs>